Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In continuum mechanics, the most commonly used measure of stress is the Cauchy stress tensor, often called simply the stress tensor or true stress. However, several alternative measures of stress can be defined. The Kirchhoff stress tau, the nominal stress n, the Piola Kirchhoff stress tensor is the first Piola Kirchhoff stress p. This stress tensor is the transpose of the nominal stress p equals nt. The second Piola Kirchhoff stress or pk2 stress s. The Biot stress t. Definitions consider the situation shown in the following figure. The following definitions use the notation shown in the figure. In the reference configuration omega zero, the outward normal to a surface element d gamma zero is n is identical to n zero and the traction acting on that surface. Assuming it deforms like a generic vector belonging to the deformation, is t zero leading to a force vector df zero. In the deformed configuration omega, the surface element changes to d gamma with outward normal n and traction vector t leading to a force df. Note that this surface can either be a hypothetical cut inside the body or an actual surface. The quantity F is the deformation gradient tensor. J is its determinant. Cauchy stress, the Cauchy stress, or true stress, is a measure of the force acting on an element of area in the deformed configuration. This tensor is symmetric and is defined via DF equals TD gamma equals sigma TN D gamma or T equals sigma TN, where T is the traction and n is the normal to the surface on which the traction acts. Kirchhoff stress the quantity, tau equals j sigma, is called the Kirchhoff stress tensor, with j the determinant of f. It is used widely in numerical algorithms in metal plasticity, where there is no change in volume during plastic deformation. It can be called weighted Cauchy stress tensor as well. Piola, Kirchhoff stress, nominal stress slash first Piola, Kirchhoff stress, the nominal stress n equals pt, is the transpose of the first piola, Kirchhoff stress, pk1 stress, also called engineering stress. pn is defined via df equals td gamma equals ntn 0 d gamma 0 equals pn 0 d gamma 0, or t0 equals td gamma d gamma 0 equals ntn 0 equals pn 0. This stress is unsymmetric and is a two-point tensor, like the deformation gradient. The asymmetry derives from the fact that, as a tensor, it has one index attached to the reference configuration and one to the deformed configuration. Second Piola, Kirchhoff stress, if we pull back DF to the reference. Configuration we obtain the traction acting on that surface before the deformation DF0, assuming it behaves like a generic vector belonging to the deformation. In particular, we have DF0 equals F minus one DF4, df0 equals f minus 1 nt and 0 d gamma 0 equals f minus 1 t 0 d gamma 0. The pk2 stress s is symmetric and is defined via the relation df0 equals stn 0 d gamma 0 equals f minus 1 t 0 d gamma 0. Therefore, stn 0 equals f minus 1 t 0 by its stress. The by its stress is useful because it is energy conjugate to the right stretch tensor u. The Biot stress is defined as the symmetric part of the tensor PT, R where R is the rotation tensor, obtained from a polar decomposition of the deformation gradient. Therefore, the Biot stress tensor is defined as T equals 1, 2, or TP plus PTR. The Biot stress is also called the Jaman stress. The quantity T does not have any physical interpretation. However, the unsymmetrized by its stress has the interpretation RTDF equals PTR, TN0D, gamma zero relations relations between Cauchy stress and nominal stress from Nansen's formula relating areas in the reference and deformed configurations. ND gamma equals J, F minus TN0D gamma zero now. Sigma TND gamma equals DF equals NTN0D gamma zero hence. Sigma T, JF, minus TN0D. Gamma zero equals nt n zero d gamma zero or nt equals j f minus one sigma t equals j sigma t f minus t or n equals j f minus one sigma and nt equals p equals j sigma t f minus t in index notation 
nij equals jf ik minus 1 sigma kj and pij equals j sigma k ifj k minus 1 therefore j sigma equals fn equals fpt note that n and p are generally not symmetric because f is generally not symmetric relations between nominal stress and second p k stress recall that ntn 0 d gamma 0 equals df and df equals fdf 0 equals f STN 0 D gamma 0. Therefore, NTN 0 equals FSTN 0 or using the symmetry of S. N equals SFT and P equals FS in index notation. NIJ equals SIK FJKT and PIJ equals FIK SKJ alternatively. We can write S equals NF minus T and S equals F minus 1P relations between Cauchy stress and second P. K stress recall that N equals J F minus 1 sigma. In terms of the second part stress, we have as F T equals J F minus 1 sigma. Therefore, S equals J F minus 1 sigma F minus T equals F minus 1 tau F minus T in index notation. S I J equals F I K minus 1 tau K L F J L minus 1 since the Cauchy stress, and hence the Kirchhoff stress, is symmetric. The second part stress is also symmetric. Alternatively, we can write sigma equals j minus 1 fsft or tau equals fsft. Clearly, from definition of the push forward and pull back operations, we have s equals phi asterisk operator. Tau equals f minus 1 tau f minus t and tau equals phi asterisk operator. S equals fsft. Therefore, s is the pullback of tau by f and tau is the push forward of s. Summary of conversion formula key. J equals debt F. C equals FTF equals U2. F equals RU. RT equals R minus 1. P equals J sigma F minus T. Tau equals J sigma. S equals J F minus 1 sigma F minus T. T equals RTP. M equals CS.